welcome to the stage, Director of Product, Arpan Podaturi. As we all know, commerce moves fast. Our relationships with brands are always evolving, and all of us are right in the middle of it. And nowhere is this change more noticeable than in retail stores. Brick and mortar retail is in total transformation, but that's actually music to our ears. Because where some fear change, we and our merchants see opportunity. We see our direct-to-consumer brands driving this change. These are companies born online and now flipping entire categories of commerce. They obsess over the customer experience, and for them, there's no better way to connect with their customers than through conversations in their own stores. And as they've grown, Shopify's brick-and-mortar footprint overall keeps expanding. In some of the most competitive retail markets in the world, like downtown New York, our merchant stores are everywhere. In fact, in the past year, Shopify POS has grown to power over 100,000 merchants. From side hustlers to fast emerging brands to retail icons, our POS has helped them all test, learn, experiment, and now put down roots. To give you a sense of our scale, Shopify POS is now in more brick and mortar stores than the number of Walmart, Apple, and Target stores combined. And it alone is driving billions in sales. So to better support our direct-to-consumer brands, we've narrowed the focus of point of sale, and we've made critical investments for them. Our most significant update came last September, when we rolled out locations. This was a big deal, and it took years of investment to pull off. It's what Toby has described as open-heart surgery for Shopify. But it unlocked a new growth path for point of sale and our merchants. That's because locations make it possible for merchants to track inventory everywhere it goes, from warehouses to fulfillment centers to stores. Every day we hear from single store brands who are planning that second store. While some of our more established brands, like Chubby's, now have 12 stores all running Shopify point of sale. So building on this momentum, we've made a bunch of updates that we're excited to share with you today. And I want to start with our point of sale hardware. In April, we took a giant leap forward with the Shopify retail kit which bundled up all of the essentials out of box needed to run a brick and mortar store. Retail Kit gives merchants the flexibility to work from their counter or detach their tablet from their stand, making it possible to move around stores point of sale in hand. And today, building on Retail Kit, we're announcing a new accessory that'll give merchants even more flexibility to move and make sales throughout their stores. This is our all-new tap-and-chip case. Our case wirelessly connects to the tap-and-chip reader, snapping everything into place to form a complete mobile point of sale that can be carried with one hand or can fit into a back pocket. Allbirds has been using our cases in their stores for months. Here it is. And the response has been stellar. No more checkout lines, happier customers, and more sales. This is an Apple Store-like experience that now all of our merchants can bring to their customers. And for large orders, we're doing something extra special. We're pad printing a custom logo into the case. Because we know it isn't about us, it's about our merchants and their customers. All right, that's pretty cool. Now let's get into updates to the POS app, 
where in the past couple of months, we've launched powerful multi-channel features. We've made it possible within POS to look up inventory across all locations, and next week, our merchants will be able to make sales from their other locations. So when something isn't available in store, a staff member can still make that sale on POS and have those items shipped from one of their other locations directly to a customer's door. We've also brought our multi-channel CRM to the point of sale. So store staff can recommend items based on previous purchases or start a return just by asking a customer's name. And we've rebuilt our POS channel in Shopify. So it now gives merchants a bird's eye view of sales by location and by employee and lets them see who's working in their stores. This is powerful functionality and larger retailers are paying thousands for it. But for Shopify merchants, it's already included in their monthly plans. And it's just one more way we're leveling the playing field for the up and comers. Now, along with these new features, we've also improved our platform experience. With in-person commerce being so big and so diverse, this is a really important direction for us. So today, we're thrilled to roll out a new card app extension for POS. A few of our partners are using this extension to integrate loyalty and rewards apps, so buyers at the point of sale can redeem and apply points that they've earned through online and in-store purchases. Here's how it works. At checkout, after I've added products to the cart, all I have to do is include a customer. Then the extension immediately calls a loyalty app. In this case, Marcelo. Marcelo lets me know that my customer, Flora, has 4,000 rewards points and is eligible for a $10 discount. There's no need to navigate back to Marcelo. It's just a quick confirmation and away she goes. This new app extension is a major upgrade, especially in busy stores where every second matters. We are thrilled about all of these updates, from mobile selling in stores, to multi-channel features, to partner app extensions that feel totally native. But at the same time, we've been planning an even bigger leap for point of sale, especially as we've grown to support not just the weekend warriors who sell at fairs and markets, or the mega brands who host some of the most hyped and press-worthy pop-ups but now a new class of retailers who are lining main streets all over the world. We asked ourselves, if we were building POS today for the first time to scale with our direct-to-consumer brands, what would it look like? In getting started, we talked to lots of merchants. They told us, make POS lightning fast. Make it powerful, but approachable and make it seamlessly integrate with the rest of Shopify and our amazing app ecosystem. So that's what we did. We completely reimagined point of sale, optimizing it for merchants with multiple stores and multiple sales channels and who use apps for their complex custom workflows. And today, it's my pleasure to share a sneak peek of our thinking. Everyone, say hello to the all new Shopify point of sale. This is so much more than just dark mode. <laughs> I promise you, this is a ground up rebuild with faster interactions throughout and where apps get first class treatment. We've completely rethought the experience to help store staff complete common workflows in a flash. Now, Let's work our way around the app, starting with the home screen, where we've replaced the inventory grid with a new smart grid. The smart grid features customizable tiles that launch merchant-specific workflows. Think of a top-selling product collection or a custom sale. And we've integrated apps as dynamic tiles. Frequently used apps can be surfaced individually, like I've done here with Stocky, to manage my inventory transfers and purchase orders and clocked in for time tracking. And all other apps are available by one tap. 
We are super excited to see how our partners enhance and customize POS using these dynamic tiles. Next, let's talk about search. As inventories grow into the tens of thousands, the fastest way to find products isn't by scrolling endlessly on a product grid. It's through barcode scanning and search. So we've built camera-based scanning, and we're now hooking into the same search that powers all of Shopify, which means POS instantly searches all products, all orders, all customers across all locations. With POS powering thousands of stores and tens of thousands of transactions every day, Think about how much time this will save buyers and store staff. Now, I've mentioned store staff already a few times today. And in creating this new experience, we learned that our merchants don't have a one-size-fits-all when it comes to their staff, how they plan shifts, set sales targets, or grant permissions. Because of this, we decided to rebuild our retail staff model so that store managers can give employees a login that spans, spans registers and stores and comes with a level of access that's tailored to their role. These fine-grained permissions are crucial as large merchants like Steve Madden and APC roll Shopify POS out to more of their stores this year. And these new retail staff users, literally tens of thousands of people who use POS every day, are now modeled into Shopify so you can build apps for them. Everything from appointments to payroll to staff management, there's so much opportunity here. So stay tuned for a new endpoint coming later this year. Now, we couldn't go another Unite without shipping our very own native version of Buy Online Pickup in Store. Buyers will be able to check out online and select items to pick up from nearby stores. And within POS, we've made it easy to find and fulfill those items, automating all of the complicated logistics that come with these orders. Today, we're inviting merchants into a closed beta for this feature. And it'll come to all merchants in the new version of Point of Sale. So that's the all new Shopify Point of Sale. It'll be available later this year on phones and tablets through a simple app upgrade. And our partners will have access to it well before it rolls out publicly. We're thrilled to put all of this power into the hands of our merchants and our partners, because we believe this alone is a Shopify-sized opportunity. And it's still mostly untapped. And as our direct-to-consumer brands continue to grow, this opportunity is only getting bigger. And that need for our merchants to manage their back office operation, whether online, offline, or anywhere in between, that need is also only getting bigger. <laughs>